Hi. Just a short vid to show you how I addressed an issue with my tailstock number two Morse taper. Uh, occasionally when I put a drill chuck in, <coughs> mostly on my 9x12 or 9x20 lathe, uh, but I'll show you on my mini lathe so you can see. Uh, this is my uh, Amadeal uh, tailstock. You can see it's much different. Here's this is the cam lock. I love it. This thing, the compared to the original equipment tailstocks, this is a hundred percent better. Much beefier, as you can see. The cam lock works well. The spin, uh, yeah, the lock works well. It's the uh, spindle is much tighter in the tailstock. Much sturdier, much stiffer. But anyways, I got some some crud in inside, and you know I went in there with paper towel and screwdriver and tried to wipe it and clean it up, but the drill chuck would still spin occasionally. So I ended up buying a number two Morse taper. Now this is this thing's off eBay. It's a Chinese thing. Nothing wrong with it for the occasional use that I'm putting it to. They, they actually shipped a set of two, uh, and, and uh, one of them is considered a roughing reamer. It's got notches. Anyways, it's considered a roughing reamer. This is the finish reamer, and as with any reamer, you only turn it in the correct direction in clockwise happens to be a 7 16 chuck and my the way I did it uh, I did the use of oil on it but by applying in pressure on it and turning it only in the one direction I cleaned the bore out and to release it it's pretty stiff the first couple of times you turn it put a little little pull on it and it breaks loose by turning in the correct direction you maintain a sharp edge and you can examine what you get out of the uh, uh, number two Morse taper bore uh, on the edges you can see that it uh, I don't know if you can see it but I still get a little crap out of this one the uh, the reamer isn't perfect, but for what I paid for it and the occasional use I do, it's great. I put it back in the rust-proof paper, and hopefully it'll be there next time I need it. But anyways, there you go. Uh, it was my cure for a, a slipping Morse taper bore for my chuck. And the other thing I have done is uh, clamp the chuck on a half inch uh, bar that I know is straight and clamped it in the chuck on the lathe and then while the, while the uh, chuck is rotating I go over it with some 400 grit uh, paper and stones to take down any burrs and, and it, it 